Cool. Welcome to our case study series. And we're excited to have Joe Johnson from Joanne Johnson Designs here with us today. So Joe, welcome. Thank you. Hi. So, yeah, I love it. Love it. Love it. So Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who's, uh, who's your target audience? Who do you, who do you help? So my background's in styling and uh, certainly over the last 12 months, I've built my presence in renovations, specifically cosmetic renovations, targeting people that are either selling or putting their property on the market to rent and just working with my clients, uh, primarily, primarily real estate agents and their vendors, just to um, make it a smooth transaction so that the place can be looking fantastic when they're about to either sell or rent their property. Love it. Fantastic. And so what was, before we met, what was happening in your business? Um, well, I guess before we met, this is all pre COVID. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I was definitely starting to see some growth in the market. Um, certainly people acknowledge the, the importance of, um, preparing their properties at their very best to get an optimum price and also get the right caliber of, of either tenant or, or buyer. So um, definitely big amount of growth um, in my industry and I'd recognised a need prior to starting the business for this type of service. So um, yeah, no, and big things on on the horizon for um, growing the business, even in the current climate. So true, so true. So how would you describe your process for managing your business, your team and, and your personal well-being prior for us working together? Um, sorry, just the, the process of my... Yeah, managing your business. So like we, when you think about okay. before we started working together, how was, how is yeah. your process for managing? Cause you gotta think about before you had a, you had a business which you sold as well and you started this, yeah. a, a, another business where you've gone some, some huge growth and lovely COVID hit, hit, but then you've continued to manage through that time and you had some, some great growth as well. But what was it like yeah. before we, before like that transition from the, from the old business to then starting up this, this new business. How did you manage that process for, for the business side of things, but also for you personally? Yeah, sure. Well, I guess coming from owning a relatively big business, which um, I'd started from scratch uh, 11 years ago, um, what that did do is at least teach me what I needed to do to start again. But you nevertheless need to go through that same process of starting to build systems, um, sitting down and just physically looking at what you want from your business. What does this look like um, now, six months, 12 months, and really redefining a lot of the landscape around, um, you know, how, how proposals are written, how um, you conduct meetings with clients, all that has to be redefined on your new business model. So I had to sort of go back to basics. And at the time I, I met you, I was sort of very much at the infancy of, of the business um, doing what I'm doing now. And, you know, it was an opportunity to sort of get things right from the start. Yeah. Love it. So good. So good. And what would, did you have any specific challenges that you faced around that initial stages for, for of the re, I guess the regrowth for the business and for you personally back then? Sure. Um, well, I guess you are reinventing yourself to an extent. So it's about, I guess, gaining consumer confidence in what you do in your new role um, and being able to demonstrate what you can do um, through examples of your work, through good case studies, through um, uh, yeah, that trust and belief that I'd built up in my previous business I kind of had to go back to rebuilding those connections and, and building new connections and finding new areas to, to grow my client base above and beyond where I had been, I previously had presence. Love it. Love it. And what led you to a better way for growing your business? Like you, obviously you, you started the, the, the new business, you got some growth, but what, what led you to, to look for um, a different way or a different solution? I came down to not wanting all my eggs in one basket, so to speak. So what I did appreciate is that whilst one area of the business may be down, if there's, for example, a downturn in real estate, I need to make sure that I can capture business through other channels. So it's about having all those funnels lined up. So for example, looking at interior design and furniture sourcing for clients is another business part of my business. Um, 
helping people that are moving property to a new property and helping them with that whole relocation process, I saw as both a necessity um, that wasn't necessarily being captured and an opportunity for me. And so it was about making sure that I didn't just have a single um, line of income coming through in the event that there is a downturn in one area. Yeah, love it. Fantastic. And what, why did you decide to try working uh, with myself? What was that turning point for you? Um, Simone dragged me in. Now we'll, <laughs> with all good intentions. Um, but, you, you know, you certainly came highly recommended and I've worked with business coaches before, so I was familiar with the process. Um, what I liked about what you brought to the table and it certainly um, came out of our initial meeting and discussions about how you could help with my business is you, you sort of approach it from a number of aspects. We look at, you know, the self we look at um, making sure that that's on track. We work on making sure that all our business processes are in place. We work, certainly have to make sure that, you know, that we've, we've got that commitment to daily routines and things that can easily lapse when you get into the depths of running your own business. So if I think about my morning so far, I've had to be on site at a job. I've, you know, had to be involved in lots of, little details that can detract from the bigger picture. So where I saw the merit in what you could help with is making sure that I kept on track and, and that I kept achieving those goals. And that's what we spent a lot of time doing up front was just mastering what those goals look like, what it is I really want to achieve out of this and making sure that I'm on track to get that, you know, achieve those goals by the end of the year. Fantastic. And how has that, how has the, the coaching helped you, um, since we've been working together? Uh, definitely accountability is the big one and you can't underestimate the importance of that. There's something about, you know, I might miss the odd session, but I'll at least get back on track and listen to it through the Facebook channel that's available. So there's really no excuse to not sort of stay in tune with where you're meant to be. So those more Monday morning uh, eight o'clock sessions are really good because it sort of gets your brain where it needs to be. And also connecting in with other people from different industries, but all in a similar sort of stage in business and just learning from each other through the intensive sessions. Um, the, I guess what you're able to prescribe is a number of different ways of making sure the businesses will succeed. And you're there for people. So I know if I was having a curly day, I could drop you a line and you tell me to put my Wonder Woman cape back on and off we go. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got that image. I love it. That's so good. That is so good. Um, how, has, how has the coaching helped with your mindset? How has, share a little bit about that. How's, how's that been of assistance? Well, I mean, I think the, the cold COVID thing that sort of started to evolve around what the early part of March was a frightening time. Um, we, we sort of went out there all guns blazing and, and big, big goals for the year. And then all of a sudden we felt crushed. Oh, I certainly felt crushed by what was happening and, and then a loss as to what I was going to do to make sure that my business could survive and, and you know, a, a, a definite sense of what do I do from here? And you modified your way of working with your clients to make sure that they were getting that daily infusion of, of, um, information and different ways of looking at things. So you suggested, you know, let's do some videos. Let's get some presence out there with clients. Let's think about writing a book. Now, all things that in our day-to-day -day running of, of our operations, we wouldn't necessarily think to do or think we have the time to do, but you're able to mastermind a great way that we can continue to do business, but just by thinking differently. And I truly believe that that's what kept me on track and pulled me out of the gutter at a time when, yeah, I felt quite helpless about the whole situation. So mm. that's, as I say, you know, being able to just know that that lifeline um, or there's that new way of thinking or new information or just things you hadn't necessarily thought about to, to work differently in, in the current climate. So that was a real savior. Fantastic. Great. And what about, what are some of the specific results you've achieved so far with the, with the coaching? Um, I now, I, I mean, I keep harping on about being accountable, but I truly um, believe that that's such an important part, particularly working for myself 
and not having a team in the sense of an employee relationship. My accountability is to the broader team, which is, you know, the tradespeople I work with, the real estate agents I consult with, um, their clients. So it's making me accountable to make sure I'm giving my very best so that I'm giving them the very best result. And that comes down to me having a positive mindset. So you spend a lot of time working with myself and, and your other people in the tribe um, on that specifically. And without that, I don't think you can be the best possible you. So I know if I'm out there doing my morning exercise, if I'm putting things in my calendar, if I'm learning new tricks of the trade and I'm putting all those things in place, I'm starting to build a better and bigger and better business and I'm, I'm being better for my clients. Fantastic. And have you hit any roadblocks throughout this time and, and how, how have you got past them? Um, certainly, uh, initially, when COVID came into play, um, if I look at my, my figures for February weren't fantastic because there was initially naturally some concern in the market about the viability of selling a property in the current climate. Um, luckily, the real estate world was very quick to adapt and started to do some clever things around um, virtual auctions and just doing whatever needed to be done to still get properties sold. So, um, you know, I, I found that it was, it was a great opportunity for me to start to think differently about the way I work. Um, and certainly when you encouraged me to start doing some interviews, my confidence grew as a result of that. So if I look to my very shaky first interview to a later one, it certainly shows that you can do something even in the face of being a little bit freaked out about the whole process. But, and, and it's been very well received by people, you know, that they, they like to see the human side of you out there showing how it's done and showing your commitment to what you're doing. Yeah. Fantastic. And what would you say to other business owners who are stuck in the process or, or hasn't even got started yet to, to growing their business? What would you say to them? Uh, definitely get online with you because the, um, the tribe is a great tight knit community of people that definitely want to serve and grow as individuals and grow their businesses. And you can't do that on your own as good as you may be in your own individual skin. Um, you know, everyone needs that push and that knowing that someone's there that has their back and will, and help them start to think about things and, and not give up on themselves. So, I would say get get the assistance, um, get the get the um, accountability, um, and just believe in yourself now more than ever, and know that you know you have amazing skills, um, but you do nevertheless need someone that's going to say, "Have you got the systems in place? Have you, you know, let's let's have a look at those. Have you, um, you know, got a means of." working your database and dealing with the social media side of things and all the things that matter in business that again, maybe as a sole trader or a small business owner, you don't necessarily have a full handle on something like the coaching will just help to bring it all together and just keep you on track. Fantastic. And what's the, what's the long-term view for yourself? What's the, what are the long-term plans? I, I look, I was on a job site this morning and I get really excited when I'm there. I, I, gen, I genuinely love the smell of paint and grout and, you know, I just love <laughs> seeing things come together. So I just think if I can extrapolate that into a, a bigger, bigger business for myself, I, I can't help but be happy with that because I can see what we can achieve in just one week for our clients and making massive difference to their, to their properties that I just want to keep growing this now. I really, I believe I'm, I'm onto something very big and something very, worthwhile and meaningful so yeah I'm, I'm 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 pushing hard in this area that i know i've i've got a talent for and with all that but it's you're a product of all the people around you so you know making sure i'm looking after my team my broader team that i mentioned um and then i'm i'm staying on track through the coaching system that will keep me doing what i'm meant to be doing and slap me around a bit when i'm not <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So where can, where can people find out more about yourself, Joe? Let's uh, where can you send them so they can go, wow, I'd love to love to find out about more about Joe's journey, Joe's services. Where can you send them? Um, uh, definitely have a look at my, in, my Instagram site is probably the most up to date. Um, and that filters through to my Facebook, which is Joanne Johnson design. Um, if you just look at that on Instagram, you'll find me and, and the latest projects that I'm working on. Joe, I really appreciate uh, your, your fantastic feedback and, and your words of wisdom and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much.